channel my name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales thank you so much for joining me today today I thought I would do a mini fabric haul I don't do fabric hauls very often because I feel like I really show you the fabric that I'm going to be using as I'm sewing but I've had a couple of purchases recently and I thought it'd be really nice to share with you what I have got so I hope that's okay and something that you'll enjoy seeing so the first thing that I was going to show you was my latest Sew Hayley Jane box I'm not going to go through the whole box I normally share that on my Instagram account and if you'd like to see that then please do go over and have a look all the details will be in the description below but this month's box came and it was a double gauze in a beautiful beautiful fabric I really 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 love this fabric it's so summery and so beautiful I just can't decide what to make with it I, it really feels like it needs to be a dress and I've seen somebody recently I think it was Liz the baker that sews she has made the most gorgeous dress it's a mashup of two patterns and then the names of the patterns have gone for me completely but it just looked absolutely lovely and I just think yeah really nice summer dress with something like this would be really nice I don't sew double gauze very much I haven't in the past I think I've sewn one garment and in my plans for July I have um, plans to sew with a double gauze to make a jumpsuit so it's not something that I'm really used to sewing with and I I really would like to sew with it a little bit more because the one thing that I made previously I made for my daughter and she really really loved it and she said it was really comfortable nice and airy and sort of breathes but it has quite a nice warmth to it as well because it's that double layer of fabric but yeah really really beautiful I'll bring it up close so you can see it's just got this really lovely sort of twiny kind of um, feel to it these little beautiful flowers on it but really really gorgeous so yes I'm very excited about making something with that just can't quite put my finger on what that's going to be <laughs> so I did have a recent visit to a new fabric shop which I haven't been to before and um, my husband just decided to take the day off and said let's just go out for the day do you want to go to a fabric shop and I was like I'm never gonna turn that down am I <laughs> so we went to a place called Exeter Fabrics and I treated myself to a couple of bits and bobs and I thought would share it with you so the first thing I got was a really beautiful embroidery on glaze and again this is something I haven't sewn with an awful lot before but I'm very very excited about making something with this I think this is going to be a beautiful blouse and I think it's going to be something I'd like to make for myself it just seems really lovely and I think it would be lovely and cool and lightweight for the summer I need to work out what I'm going to do about the fact that it has obviously cutouts in it and holes in it so whether I line it or not but I just don't want to make it too thick but I really like the idea of a really nice blouse I have a few blouse patterns um, that I could potentially use so I have things like um, the closet core Cali shirt that would be quite nice I wondered about the Tilly and the Button Stevie maybe something like that but it'd be really great if you've got some suggestions as well as what you think would be a really nice top a blouse shirt that kind of thing for this fabric I think I've only got a meter and a half or I might have two meters of it but it's not massively wide but I'd like to really give this this you know fabric justice and make something really beautiful with it so the next thing I bought from um, Extra Fabrics was a gorgeous, gorgeous, summery, lightweight cotton jersey. It's not really quite a viscose jersey, but it's not as heavy as a normal cotton jersey. And I bought this with, can you see that? Is that coming into focus? I don't think it is. I'll try and put it up on the screen separately. But I bought this with my middle daughter in mind with the idea that I would make her some sort of t-shirty dress I really like the idea of making her something really summery really really girly and really nice and again I haven't got a pattern in mind so again if you've got any suggestions that would be really good I did see something I think it was Karen from so little time she recently made is it the Lucida Lucida dress I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and it sort of has like a little bit of a, a gathering in the center of the bust to make like a sweetheart and I did wonder whether that would be a really nice um, dress for her a little bit different a bit of extra detail that kind of thing so yeah again suggestions please on my cotton jersey for a dress for my daughter now I know that gingham is really really in at the moment and I treated myself to a few bits of gingham however when I say myself 
I've actually treated myself to it to make but for items for my daughters and they two of my daughters really fancy a gingham dungaree or jumpsuit sort of pattern so for my youngest daughter I bought this really gorgeous bluey gingham with a really sort of medium sort of sized check in it I really like it it's very very lightweight I think it will make a very nice lightweight sort of dungaree jumpsuity kind of thing so I do have a pattern in mind with that I can't think what the pattern name is or the pattern company is but again I'll put it on the screen below but basically I would like to make the dungaree version of the dunga dress that I made my daughter quite some time ago and I'll put a picture of the pattern front cover on the screen as well and I think that would be really nice and, and yeah just really nice for the summer and lightweight and something nice to chuck on maybe if they go to the beach or you know that kind of thing so that was gingham number one Gingham number two was for my eldest daughter and she fancied a red gingham. She's a little bit worried this looks a bit like a school uniform, but I think it'd be absolutely fine. And the pattern I have in mind for this is the Tilly and the Buttons Sophia Dungarees. I think this would be really, really nice in this. It's really casual. I think, again, little white t-shirt on underneath, that sort of thing. It will be fabulous for wearing to the beach because it's just so lightweight and just it can be really, really comfortable. So, yeah, really, really like that. Obviously, a much smaller check in this one, but I love it. I just think that that's going to be really nice and a nice little garment for her wardrobe gingham number three and the final gingham <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to make with this but I just really liked it so I just thought I'm just going to get a couple of meters of it because I think I will make something with it eventually so I bought this really lovely grey and white gingham <laughs> but this one has obviously got a slightly larger um check to it I just think it's really really lovely it's it's a nice weight it's heavier than the other ones so it's got a bit of a, a bit of a heavier weight to it but it's still got quite a nice drape to it and I, I'm thinking I quite fancy something for myself but I'm just I just don't know whether or not if I made myself say for example a pair of dungarees would that look slightly childlike if I did that and I'm actually a grown woman and maybe I shouldn't wear that I don't know maybe a skirt I don't know I don't know but I really liked it and I thought it's quite inexpensive so I'm just going to treat myself to some anyway and put it in my stash just hopefully it won't sit there in my stash <laughs> so the next thing that I bought from there was a chambray and it's a really lightweight chambray and again I had the Tilly and the Buttons um Sophia dungarees in mind but for myself and I really liked this I just thought it was really lovely I really liked the um, leafy design on it I thought it would make a really nice pair of dungarees to have a little t-shirt on underneath and it's a really nice weight it's it's lovely and thin it's not overly heavy but it's not so thin that it's you know see-through or anything like that I just think that will make a really nice casual pair of dungarees I do have a bit of a dungaree thing going on don't I <laughs> anyway I just really like that I thought that was lovely so that was all the lightweight cottons and things I bought from extra fabrics the next thing that I got from there and the last thing was actually for my husband I thought seeing as he's taken me I ought to really you know actually do something and I got this um, t-shirt fabric which is just a nice petroly blue color and he just wants a plain t-shirt he's not he's not very adventurous with his t-shirt he doesn't wear lots of patterns and things like that so he said I just want a nice plain t-shirt but it was quite funny because this was actually on a display sort of all sort of out like this and it looked absolutely gorgeous and he said that's the colour I like I like that and we looked around and couldn't find it anywhere else so I said to the lady can we um have the display um jersey that's up there <laughs> she didn't mind at all so it was great it was a lovely shop they have two different sections they have a massive upholstery section which when I go to because I'd like to do some garden furniture up um soon when we go to do that I'm definitely going to go back there because it had such a massive variety of upholstery fabric and then it had this huge um you know area for dressmaking fabric almost a little bit overwhelming I kind of wish I'd gone with more of a plan of I want to make such and such therefore that's the only fabric I'm looking for but because I didn't have anything in mind I kind of did a bit of a whoa, 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 
want to just touch everything and look at everything and oh it's all lovely <laughs> but yeah so I'm going to be making a t-shirt out of that for John so on to the last couple of things that I got and I recently went and picked up my daughter from university and whilst I was there I met a lady who I've been chatting to on Instagram for quite some time and she's absolutely lovely and we're becoming very good friends and it's really really great but she lives in the same city that my daughter goes to uni and she knew we were going up there and said shall we meet up and it was like yeah that would be really great so we went into the John Lewis there and had a cup of tea and oh we talked and talked and talked and I tell you what if we'd had another couple of hours we'd have carried on talking <laughs> but we then went and had a quick look around the fabric section in the John Lewis and I bought a really beautiful visco now I want to make a dress out of this I'm not 100% sure which dress I want to make but I want to make something that's quite drapey and um, floaty I have the idea of the Nina Lee Park Lane dress but I'm not sure if the pattern on it is too big and whether that dress actually would suit something with a smaller pattern but I just thought this fabric was absolutely beautiful and I couldn't resist it and I I have been wanting something that's quite red for for a while so yeah and when I make it it's going to remind me of my friend that I met up there which is going to be really lovely <laughs> so yeah I'm really pleased with that one I think it's a really gorgeous fabric and yeah just the idea of making something floaty dress like very feminine very girly will be lovely so the last couple of things that I have is a, um, a few fabrics that I bought from Beyond the Pink Door. Now I don't know if anybody's aware of Beyond, um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, I'm sure you are. She has a fabulous shop in Ireland and um, her and her daughter Keris, they do some online um, Zoom sessions and they also do a Facebook Live, is it Facebook Live or YouTube Live, I can't remember which one it is on a Sunday evening and they go through and show you all your fabrics and you can type in questions and say oh could I have a look at such and such and she'll bring it up and show you which is really great because you can then see all the sort of the drape of the fabric and all that kind of thing and she's just really really helpful and really lovely but I received my little package that I um ordered from her the other day now it all the tissue paper's a bit screwed up now but it came all beautifully wrapped with this lovely big sticker on it in a box and it also came with a um a tea bag to have a nice cup of tea while you're sewing and it came with a little postcard with a little personal message from Andrea on the back and Keris which was really really lovely so I bought only two fabrics I thought I was very good I bought a viscose fabric which is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, my husband helped me choose this when I was on the website. He's like, oh yeah, I really like that one. And I had been loitering my mouse cursor over this fabric thinking, oh, do I, don't I? Because I wasn't sure if it was a bit old fashioned. I wasn't sort of really sure. But then when I showed my husband all of the different things on the, on the screen, he said, I quite like that one that's really nice that's really pretty and the thing that I wanted is I wanted to have a go at making the new Tilly the Buttons Lyra dress I've seen so many versions of it and I've been really on the fence about whether it's a dress that I wanted to try or not and then I saw Becky from Notes Notes of the Sewing Room Notes in the Sewing Room her name's completely gone but I'll Again, put her name across the screen here but she made the Lyra dress and it, it was it's my most favorite version I've seen of it she made it with a belt instead of the tie and it just changed the look of it and I just thought do you know what I'm gonna treat myself to that pattern so I not only oh I haven't got it here but I not only bought the fabric I bought the pattern as well from Andrea and I'll put the picture of the pattern up on the screen and I'm gonna pair those together and make the Lyra dress so yeah I'm really excited about that it's really really gorgeous beautiful viscose fabric and then the last thing that I bought was this um, stretch cotton and I bought this with one of two pairs of trousers in mind so it's a black background with a creamy sort of slightly fawny coloured I don't know what it is is it a feather or I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure what it is but it's a it's a just a little pattern sort of repeated pattern and it's a, a really nice stretch cotton it's a really nice weight and I wanted to make a pair of um flowery uh, 
flowery summer weight trousers I just thought that would be a really nice thing to make um, whether I, I've got one of two patterns in mind I'm possibly thinking of doing the closet core sasha trousers again the ones that I've just done for my sew along but if I do those I might omit all the pockets and just make them really really simple and just make a really nice fitting pair of summer trousers or I might do the sew over at ultimate trousers I've got both of those patterns I don't want to buy a new pattern so I'm to, I think I'm going to do one of those I think that will look really really nice and I'll be able to wear all sorts of different tops with that and it'll just be a nice casual little pair of trousers so that's a, a, a pretty short little video from me today, but I have um, really enjoyed sharing all of those. I thought it would be nice to have a fabric haul and show you the little bits and pieces that I've bought since I have bought a few bits and pieces recently. Like I say, I don't normally do a fabric haul. Um, I haven't done one in a long, long time, but I thought it'd be quite nice to share. I'm really pleased with the things that I've got, so I'm hoping that I won't put them in my stash and forget about them and order more stuff, because I think I need to do a bit of a, a fabric for a while and maybe not order anything for a while and <laughs> actually just get making <laughs> do share with me if you've got any ideas of things that you think I could make or should make with any of those fabrics let me know of any patterns and things that you um, think that I'd be interested in I always love doing that and actually it's really helpful for other people to see that as well other people like to see what other people are suggesting too let me know what you're up to and what you're sewing but other than that have a good week take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!